Trip Builder is a powerful tool that you can use to build complex itineraries and stopovers. It works kind of like a GDS and shows you availability first rather than pricing. To begin, you just click the tab for Trip Builder. Here you can do a round trip one way or multi city. I'll do a simple round trip to show you how it works. We click search flights and instead of getting pricing, it's going to show me some flights. Click add flights, it loads it into my active itinerary folder and then shows me the return flights. It's always good to stay with the same airline to get better pricing, so I'll click this one right here. And now I've got a simple round trip loaded in with some availability, booking classes, that kind of thing. We could price it right now if we want, but I want to put a stop over it first. I'm going to remove this second flight and go over here and I'll put in Copenhagen to Warsaw and I'll change the date to, let's say, 15 June. Select the same airline, of course, click search. And I get only one option, so I'll go ahead and add that one in. It drops it right in the order where it's supposed to be. So I've got a Chicago Copenhagen on 12 June, Copenhagen Warsaw 15 June, then my return all the way back on the 22nd of June. I can select the cabin class that I want, the number of passengers, adults, kids, and even infants, and the fare type. Click price. It will attempt to price it as both a consolidator fare and as a published fare. Generally, you'll take the cheaper of the two and click book. And from here on out, the booking process is the same. Another way to manipulate flights and use Trip Builder is to do a search from the front page. I'll do that. I'm looking for an itinerary that's similar to what we were trying to build, but there's no stopover in it. I do want that stopover in Copenhagen. So I'm going to click on this one. Here's a Chicago, Copenhagen, Warsaw. And now see the edit button? You can click that button and it will bring that itinerary over to Trip Builder where you can remove flights, add flights in using the tool on the left, and then price them however you want. When you bring an itinerary over into Trip Builder, there will be a booking class that's already highlighted. That's the booking class that it priced at the lowest for the itinerary that you selected. But if we go in and remove flights, add a stopover, change dates, those kind of things, that might not be the lowest booking class. So the best thing to do is go down below here where it says set all flights to lowest, pick your cabin class, and watch what happens. It changes that to lowest on all these segments. Then we'll hit price and we'll get the lowest possible fare for that new itinerary that you just built.